Hey guys, John at SurfFX, and it's winter because I'm wearing pants, you can see. But this is the new Duotone Slick SLS. Now the Slick SLS, new wing, completely redone um, and updated. So immediately, if you compare the two, um, what's this? This is the regular Slick. Got one right there. So much more square in the original. The new ones are a little bit more rounded in the tips and the rounding and extra segmentation gives you a lot more tension through the canopy. So the SLS basically makes it a, it's a lighter weight version. The struts and the leading edge are made from Penta TX. The whole setup is 15% lighter. Uh, and you know, we've had them in store and you can pick them up and they are noticeably lighter. A little bit different window setup. You can see the, you know, they've just got enough you can just see through, but easy to fold. So you can make a fold here, you make a fold here and there. So packing up, much easier, you're not packing through the giant windows. The curve and outline on this, so it's still their compact, more freestyle shape that they've gone for, but you can see that it's no longer squared off. So when they add more segmentation, so Ken Werner, the designer, was saying that when you add more segmentation, you can affect the draft of, and, and profile of the wing a lot more. So adding a few more segments here allows them to add more tension through the, the profile. And it is, it's really a, quite a bit tighter. What you get out of that is stuff that they've learned from the unit uh, at D-Lab. The D-Lab unit just trucks up wind. So does this, we've had them out in the past few days. That real forward drive in the draft pulls this thing through the air and it's just a little bit more efficient and it's a bit faster, like straight away you can feel it's a lot, you know. It's not so much just trying to pull you straight forward, it really is driving forward uh, and getting you upwind and making it easier. So the boom on these is the same kind of setup as the previous one. So if you have a slick and you have the alloy or carbon boom before, you can use it. What they have done is change the connection. It's a little bit more solid, more connected. Down here on the back end, it's a little bit longer. So you got a bit more positive connection for it. And if you're, you know, a few guys are getting rinsed in the surf, popping the booms on the previous one. This one, the added connection material, and, and it's really gonna make it a lot easier to uh, to keep it locked in. This one here is set up at the carbon, so it is super, super light, it's great. But uh, there's a new SLS boom as well, uh, and that is basically another carbon construction, but it's got the, that elliptical kind of shape of the uh, unit handles, so. It's just that little bit feel there. We don't have them yet. We don't know when they're coming, but it's a little bit narrower uh, and it's got that little oval shape kind of fits your hand a little bit different. Okay, the wing tips on this are noticeably thinner. So all that segmentation uh, allows the canopy to be stiffer, the whole setup to be stiffer, and the Penta TX is a stiffer material. So they've been able to take some of the bulk out of the wing tip. So the wing tip itself, right around here, you can see it starts getting quite a bit narrower to a uh, almost like kite strut thin tip on the side, but still, super rigid being that uh, Penta TX and having that more you know load spread through the canopy. Something they also learned with the unit is that putting different paneling in and different panel weights, you can see there's a lot more paneling here on the uh, on the new Slick SLS. So they're using the fabric and the physical properties of the fabric to help increase the stability and strength and rigidity of the whole setup. So you do have a a you know, little bit heavier cloth here than you do here, and they use the you can see the angle of the fabric and of their uh, you know little crosshatch or ripstop is different in different panels again to increase the whole stiffness of the wing. To make pack up easier, they've added a dump valve on the strut as well as on the wing tip, so you can easily just pop the two dump valves. You know that's the inflate valve, you can deflate it from there a little bit, but it really drops air quickly and lets you just kind of roll it up. So that's one of the things that some of these wings have been having because they're such a bigger diameter, even though this is smaller, um, is that just packing up can take a while. Now you can really just rip the air out of this thing quickly and uh, pack up in a few seconds. So holding it up, you can really see that profile. It's that, you know, a little bit of a V through a little delta. And again, stuff that they had learned on their other wings, try to get the wing to fly itself, um, you know, particularly off the front handle which they buffed up, they beefed up this handle, this pad massively. So your, uh, your knuckle pad is, uh, is pretty thick now. But you can really see that different shape there through the whole front of the wing.